I did this. What's up? You got your boy Direct, aka Native Shades. And we're talking about that MPC 2000 XL. What had happened was <laughs> hit that like and subscribe button because we're talking about the MPC 2000 XL. Now, the 2000 XL came out around 1999. And at the time the 2000 XL came out, it was pretty much a more beefed up version of the MPC 2000. The 2000 XL was a really dope MPC because it made everything so instant. The workflow on the 2000 XL was so intuitive that it just forced the producer to just complete their beat. It's the Beatmaker's MPC. Everything on this MPC is just right there. The way they spaced everything out on the sampler itself is just awesome. Navigating the sampler, for some reason, it, it, it's, a, it's a seamless experience. <laughs> like if you want to filter something, just go to programs and click the, the filter joint and the, the filter page is right there. Another thing about the 2000 Excel is its chopping mechanism. Like, you know, on the NPCs nowadays, you know, people love using auto chop. It's real simple. You know, you just put it in 16 levels. It chops it up evenly in 16 regions. The computer does it for you. You push a button and bam, you know, your sample should sound good because everything is chopped up in, in equal measures, right? <laughs> the 2000 Excel, it had an auto chop, but people don't really rely on the auto chop on that machine. People prefer chopping piece by piece. And the reason is, it's because it's so comfortable chopping on the MPC 2000 XL that you do not get tired. You do not get tired chopping a sample. You could just stay all day chopping a sample because it's so comfortable. Another great thing about the 2000 XL is this is the first time I think Akai really drove in that MIDI production center. The MIDI. <laughs> the MIDI sequencing on the 2000 Excel, the sequencer, oh man, that, that's like one of the best MIDI sequencers I think ever. Like if, if you're sequencing outer gear, like let's say you have a keyboard here, you have a, you know, a, another drum machine there, your computer over here, and you're just using the 2000 Excel to sequence everything together, man, that sequencer is so tight, everything is just on point. I think it's, uh, you know, they use a 996 PPQ resolution or something like that. The 2000 Excel, you would usually find it in a studio. Like, people could take it out of the studio, though. Like, the 3000, you would never find that out of the studio. <laughs> the 3000, it's like in a museum somewhere. They That NPC stays in the studio. People do, do not move it. But the 2000 Excel, you could actually throw it in your backpack and take it with you. Like, I remember a time, you know, in Brooklyn, I was walking through the park and there was this guy with dreads and he was just banging out on this box. And, you know, everybody was crowding around him, like all these guys crowding around him. And then all of a sudden, a cypher started happening. Everybody was spitting their verses. So, you know me, I don't know these guys, you know what I'm saying? But I jump in and start spitting verses, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it lasts about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Everybody gives each other a pound and everyone's going their own way, their separate ways. And when I'm looking at the ground and I'm looking at what, what he's using, what he plugged up to, whatever he plugged it to, it was NPC 2000 Excel. And I'm like, yo, man, that machine is dope, man. To me, that's like the B-Boys NPC. The 2000 Excel caught a major resurrection. I think it was around... 2010 or something like that Kanye West brought it on stage with him on one of them award shows I think it was the MTV Music Award Shows or American Music Award Show one of them award shows where he had the red jacket and he was doing his song Runaway and he came out on stage and then you just see him like banging out on the <laughs> on the MPC man after that after that performance man if you went to eBay before those things were on eBay literally you could buy them for $350, $400. But after that Kanye West performance, the price went up to like $900, $1,300, $1,700. Some people, 
man, it was crazy. I remember Alicia Keys. I'm not sure if, if she brought the 2000 Excel with her, but she brought an MPC on stage with her, and she tried to do the same thing. They put tape on the pads to try to show her what to press, man, and she was getting, she got roasted, man. But, um, yeah, the 2000 XL, when it came out, it was pretty expensive. It was about $2,600. I think they had a stripped down version for about 22. But as a producer, it was, you know, those moments in a producer's life when they have to make a decision about should I buy this gear or should I not buy this gear? You're basically analyzing how serious am I going to take my career in music <laughs> but let me tell you something the folks that brought the 2000 excel man I'm, I'm sure it ended up it, it was a good choice a lot of famous producers used it you know you got pete rock kanye west d dot the, the only negative thing i've ever heard about the 2000 excel was that it wasn't featured packed like the mpc 4000 that mpc is featured packed to a point it's sometimes it, it's it, it could be hard to wrap your head around everything that's going on in there but the 2000 excel was straight to the point you know what i'm saying so it, it's like the beat makers npc it's just you go in there you make your beat you make a thousand beats and you keep it moving <laughs> so that's the npc 2000 excel what had happened was <laughs> So, yo, this is your boy, Direct, a.k.a. Native Shades, telling you to like and subscribe. And I'm signing off.